Chemistry of sugars, the monosaccharides. The following video is a part of a summary about the chemistry of sugars and should be paused regularly due to the high density of information. In chemistry, sugars are also called saccharides. The base in the formation of all sugars are the monosaccharides or single sugars, as an example glucose is shown. Usually three methods are used to display the molecular structure of monosaccharides. The Fischer projection, the Hayworth projection and the chair conformation, where the Hayworth projection and the chair conformation are often preferred for chemical equations and reaction mechanisms. Monosaccharides are divided in aldoses and ketoses, so these have an aldehyde or keto group which can be differentiated with Selivanov's test. Usually the monosaccharides are present in the cyclic form but are preferably drawn in the Fischer projection as it's shown here. In the Fischer projection all of the monosaccharides can be differentiated very precisely. These contain mainly between 3 and 6 carbon atoms. So they are called triose, tetrose, pentose and hexose. According to the functional group they are called for example aldohexose or ketopentose. In the Fischer projection the monosaccharides are drawn in the open chain form where the carbon atom with the highest oxidation state is placed at the top. The monosaccharides are differentiated by the OH groups which are pointing left or right. This is the reason why there is a maximum number of different sugars which have the same amount of carbon atoms. In addition to that, there is a differentiation between the D and L configuration. It is determined by the lowest stereo center, where D and L are from the Latin words dexter and levus. In the undissolved state, monosaccharides with at least 5 carbon atoms are present in the cyclic form, where two forms called pyranose and furanose form can be present. So depending on the hydroxy group which reacts in the formation of the hemiacetyl, the ring can consist of 5 or 6 atoms. The cyclic form is the result of the formation of a hemiacetyl out of the keto or aldehyde group with one of the hydroxy groups. The carbon of the former aldehyde or keto group is then called an anomeric carbon atom, which is a new stereocenter. This can have a configuration of R or S according to the kahn ingold prelock convention, which is also sometimes abbreviated with CIP rules. When the anomeric carbon atom has a different configuration than the stereocenter that is the farthest away in the chain, it is called the alpha form. If not, it is called the beta form. When monosaccharides are dissolved in water, an equilibrium is present between the cyclic and the open chain form. In the latter, the functional groups can be determined with reagents, reactions and compounds like Feeling's test, Tollens reagent, Selivanov's test or with 3,5-dinitrosalicylic acid. This was a summary about the monosaccharides. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment. If you want to know more about sugars and the detection reactions, you can watch my playlist here, or you can watch my latest video here.